Hey Fitties, it's Tuesday. Today, I'd like you to meet my friend George. So I wanted to start this week by saying thank you to everyone who left comments and the rest of the 55 members who congratulated me in their videos. It made me feel really good all week and just helped to motivate me even more. I've only lost another half a pound this week, but it's better than nothing and I'm happy with it because I'm still under 200 and that's the important part. Um, I also went shopping on Saturday because my pants are too big. It's like, it's like Ashley's first vlog. None of my pants fit. So I went and bought some pants that fit. To answer Addie's question from two weeks ago, which I skipped last week, I'm going to combine it with my food tip. Addie had asked us to give her some ideas for some cheat meals. I like turkey sandwiches, and I tend to eat lighter in the evenings. I eat more of my big meal at lunch, and then I'll eat lighter in the evenings. So a turkey sandwich with a um, piece of fruit and some carrots is good for me, and that's what I'm going to show you today. The bread I use is Pepperidge Farm Light Style Wheat Bread and it's only 45 calories a slice and what's great about the Pepperidge Farm brand light bread is that it's double wrapped which means it lasts a lot longer and stays fresh a lot longer. So I usually use two ounces of turkey and an ounce of Munster cheese. Munster cheese is my favorite, you can use whatever cheese you like, but all together the two ounces of turkey, one ounce of Munster cheese, and the two slices of bread is a little less than 250 calories. So I figure that's not bad to start off with. So I measure out my turkey and my cheese and put it on my two slices of bread. After I close up my sandwich, I spray the outside with just a little bit of Pam. This is olive oil Pam and it has no calories. And then I bring the sandwich over to my friend George. This is my George Foreman grill. I've had it for a long time. And when I started eating turkey sandwiches a lot, I started thinking, well, I could make these a lot better if I grilled them, if they were warm. So after I put the pan on the one side, I put the sandwich on the grill, spray the other side with a little bit of pan. This helps to brown it nicely. After it's been cooking for about three minutes, you can see it's nicely brown and grilled. And open it up, and you can see the cheese is all nice and gooey and melty. And then I add a few slices of tomato and a handful of romaine lettuce. And I have a nice, yummy sandwich. I have some carrots and an apple. All of the meal together costs less than $3.50. And it's actually about 350 calories. So my tip to you is to grill your sandwiches or use a George Foreman grill. And it makes them taste a lot better and make them seem a lot less healthy than they really are. Ashley's question this week was, what kind of food warnings do we have? And my warning actually kind of goes along with my turkey sandwich thing, is you have to be careful with deli meats. I used to buy the prepackaged deli meats, um, that the ones that come in the little like Gladware containers that are already sliced and everything. And I started looking at the sodium content in them, and they've got like six or seven hundred milligrams of sodium per serving. When I go to the deli counter now, I ask for the low sodium versions of the deli meat, which has about half the amount of sodium in it as the prepackaged meat. The warning for you is to be careful of your sodium intake. A lot of prepackaged foods, a lot of processed foods contain a lot of sodium, which will actually make you retain water and actually help or cause you to hold on to weight and gain weight. So be careful of the sodium content in foods. Leah, your tuna tip from last week, sorry, won't be trying it. The smell of tuna makes me nauseous. I've never liked it, so it's a great tip for people who like tuna, but not for me. The celery, on the other hand, I do enjoy celery, so I'll have to try to start eating more of that. I didn't realize that it actually was considered a negative calorie food, so that's actually a pretty cool tip. Addy, I'm glad that you've realized that you need to get back into it. And so welcome back, and I hope that you've had a better week this week. Ashley, once again, congratulations on winning the $200 for the PB2. That's awesome. And Kimmers, your goal sheet is actually a really good idea. Um, I should print one of those out for myself. Um, I don't know that I really have time to sit down and think weekly, but maybe I've tried to sit down and kind of figure out my overall goals. And a lot of people were asking me in their comments and things, what's your next goal once you've hit 200 pounds? Well, my next goal is to be about 175. So I've got 25 pounds to go. I've already lost 24 since the beginning of the year. 
so maybe another three months and I'll be at 175. We'll see. I think that's all for this week. I hope everyone else has a good week this week. And don't forget to join us at fittingitin.ning.com. Addie, I will see you tomorrow.